Hello student, let us start our discussion. Let us start the topic. What is the first term? That is micro operation. So how we will define micro operation? Micro operation, it is operation which is performed on the data which is stored inside the register. Okay, so in simple word what we can say the operation which is performed on the data which is stored inside the register means whatever operation we will perform on the register or inside the register it is known as micro operation. How many types of micro operations are there? So register transfer micro operation, arithmetic micro operation, logic micro operation and shift micro operation. Register transfer micro operation will help us to transfer the data uh, from one place to another place. Now here it can be uh, register to register, it can be memory to memory or it can be uh, reg memory to register or memory to memory. So uh, normally register transfer means uh, this will help us to transfer the data from memory to register or from register to memory. Means it will help us to perform the input output operation. Next, arithmetic micro operation. So, micro operation which will perform the arithmetic, various arithmetic operations, it is known as arithmetic micro operation. Next is logic micro operation and then there is shift micro operation. So, if we consider the register transfers, then uh, we are having two options. First, either we transfer data into the register or either we transfer data from the register. So uh, this is normally uh, denoted as a memory read. So how memory read will be defined? Memory read means transfer of data from memory to outside world. It is known as memory read. And how we will define uh, memory write? The transfer of data from outside world to memory. It is known as memory right okay clear with this so uh, let us move forward now we will discuss uh, arithmetic micro operation logic micro operation and shift micro operation one by one this three micro operation arithmetic logic and shift will help us to manipulate the data so whatever data cpu will process or it will manipulate it will manipulate using the arithmetic logic or shift micro operation so uh, let us go with the next topic next topic is arithmetic micro operation so uh, let us see which are the various arithmetic micro operation so let me start the discussion yes now it can be categorized uh, into two category basic and non basic so uh, which are the basic arithmetic micro operation uh, addition then subtraction then increment then decrement uh, addition to this four basic micro operation we are having addition with carry subtraction with borrow uh, transfer or load so there are total seven micro operation which are uh, considered as a part of arithmetic micro operation now arithmetic micro operation will help us to manipulate the data mathematically now let us take the very simple example what is the first very simple and easy to understand uh, circuit that is binary address subtractor now here how binary address subtractor will work as you can see in the figure uh, here we are trying to uh, construct 4 bit binary header so uh, let us try to cons construct it uh, here as you can see we will take one 2, 3 and 4, 4 full header. Uh, then we will have 2 4 bit variable A0, A1, then A2, then A3 means variable A or register A and then B0, B1, B2, B3 means B so 4 bits will be for a and 4 bits will be for b here what will happen in first full header uh, we will give uh, c0 means external carry as input so 
then we will give the bit number 0 of register A and bit number 0 of register B so both will be added and it will be stored into the accumulator in bit number 0 or sum 0 whatever carry will be there it will be forwarded C1 to the next pool header so that is pool header 1 which will perform the addition of bit number 1 of register A and bit number 1 of register B whatever answer will be there it will be stored into bit number 1 of accumulator then whatever output carry is there from full header 1 it will be forwarded to uh, full header 2 as a carry 2 then it will perform the addition of bit number 2 uh, uh, of register A and register B and carry 2 so whatever answer will be there it will be stored into accumulator on bit number 2 and whatever carry is generated it will be forwarded to the next circuit then again addition of uh, bit number 3 uh, of register A and register B will be performed along with the uh, input carry C3 and whatever answer will be there it will be stored into uh, bit number 3 of accumulator and finally whatever carry will be there it will be uh, represented using C out or carry flag now uh, this is very simple and easy to understand the circuit okay so uh, just for an example uh, let's take some uh, random value of a and b and let us try to perform the addition so you can have idea so uh, let's say value of a is uh, you can say 0 0 1 1 and value of b is 0 1 0 1 means if you try to convert this into decimal then 1 plus 2 3 and uh, 1 2 and 4 4 plus 1 5 so our answer should be 8 means uh, 1 0 0 0 ok so how this addition will be performed by this binary header so bit number 1 of a that is 1 and the bit number sorry bit number 0 of a is 1 and bit number 0 of b is also 1 then bit number uh, 1 of a is 1 and bit number 1 of b is 0 then bit number uh, 2 of a is uh, 0 and bit number 2 of b is 1 then bit number uh, 3 of a is 0 and bit number 3 of b is also 0 now here uh, there will be value of c0 means input carry will be 0 so 1 plus 1 answer will be 0 and c1 will be 1 so 0 plus 1 plus 1 so 0 plus 1 1 1 plus 1 0 again carry 1 so value of c2 will be 1 then 1 plus 0 plus 1 so that will be again 0 and 1 then 0 plus 0 0 0 plus 1 1 and value of c out will be 0 so this is our answer 1 0 0 0 0 so which is equivalent to 8 in decimal so this is very simple and easy to understand the uh, understandable circuit now let us discuss the upside and downside of this circuit so what is the upside or what is the advantage we, it is very easy to implement we can easily implement this circuit why because we are simply connecting uh, all full header serially so it is easy to implement but what is the downside there will be delay in output so how there will be delay in the output so let me explain you by figure so you can have idea that uh, how it how it will generate the how, how it will create the delay into the output so let's say if i want to get the output of uh, uh, final output let's say s3 okay then c out now s3 and c out both are dependent on the value of c3 as well as a3 and b3 so value of a3 and b3 is available but value of c3 is dependent on value of a2 b2 and c2 again c2 is dependent on value of a1 b1 and c1 
and C1 is dependent on value of A0, B0 and C0. So what we can say the sum is dependent on uh, carry from the previous stage or previous pull header circuit and uh, we cannot generate the next digit uh, till we are having the result or result is available uh, from the previous unit so uh, um, that will be the problem okay so it is impractical to use why because addition will be performed uh, serially so first addition will be performed in full header 0 then full header 1 then full header 2 then full header 3 and then we will get the C out so it is impractical to use so uh, that is the downside of this circuit so that's it uh, for today in next session we will continue with more arithmetic circuit and arithmetic operation thank you